New details tonight. It was very emotional as a as family and friends welcomed home an airman from the Tulsa's Air National Guard this afternoon after an extended deployment to the Middle East. Fox 23's Catherine James is live after finding a couple whose wedding plans are now back on track after the deployment is now over. Rick, the couple had actually started planning their wedding before the deployment, and they say that another extension could have forced them to push their wedding date back. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Airmen with the Tulsa Air National Guard, including the 138th Fighter Wing, returned home from a long deployment in the Middle East. It was uh, the best feeling that I've had in a long time, you know. I uh, get to see the love of my life over there standing, smiling, waving at me. Uh, greeting me home from too long being gone. Airman First Class Joshua Robert Jackson was assigned to IT and communications support. They were stationed at the Prince Sultan Air Base in Saudi Arabia at a time of heightened conflict in the Middle East. Their original deployment was planned for only three months, but with everything going on in the region, it was extended for an extra month. I was just kind of praying that he would be home safe. Jackson's fiance Taylor Gretzky welcomed him home. She says he returned home just in time. Wedding is in a couple months, and so now we got all the fun details of final, finalizing everything. If Jackson's deployment had been extended again, they were worried they would have to postpone their wedding. The wedding plan and everything, it was kind of stressful. With Jackson safely back, Gretzky says they can now focus on one another and the future ahead. Excited for this new season and um, to have him back home and help with the planning and all the final details. Now that happy couple said that the first thing they were looking forward to doing together is going home and eating a big home cooked meal. You can't beat that. Reporting live in Tulsa covering news that matters. Catherine James, Fox 23 News.